So the other day I had the pleasure of talking with Dr. Sophie Liu, the co-founder of the Doberman Diversity Project. And we talked for a really long time about the future of the Doberman breed and where this breed is headed. And guys, I don't get worked up very easily on this channel, but I gotta say the Doberman breed is in serious, serious danger right now. And I think it's time that this large audience pulls together and fixes this problem right now for the future of this amazing breed who we love so much. Guys, I'm reminded all the time that I'm far from perfect. And honestly, one thing that I know I've overlooked is the influence and the power that this large group that we have on this channel can have towards the betterment in the future of the Doberman breed. So I really think it's time that we pull together and help the Dobermans out because honestly, they need us now more than ever. Now, if you guys haven't heard of the Doberman Diversity Project, it's a nonprofit organization that's made up of uh, breed experts, researchers, veterinarians, and a whole lot of other really intelligent people who completely donate their time and their energy to the betterment of the Doberman breed. And they do a lot of really amazing work, guys. Uh, and really, their overall goal is to reduce or completely eliminate a lot of the hereditary diseases that plague our favorite breed of dog. Uh, and I spent a long time the other day talking with Dr. Liu, the co-founder of this organization, and she opened my eyes to a lot of the current research and studies that have been coming out um, about the Doberman breed. And guys, honestly, it paints a really scary picture about the future of this breed. And I just had to come here and make you guys aware of it. Now, the information I have for you guys here all surrounds dilated cardiomyopathy, or DCM. And DCM is a chronic health problem in the Doberman breed that's really been plaguing the breed for quite a while, but is, is really coming to a head lately, guys. And um, basically what this is, is it's a heart condition that can cause your dog at a very young age to just suddenly drop dead with no warning signs. And um, even if you see some warning signs and you get the dog diagnosed, they're a lot of times dead within just a couple weeks. So everything I'm about to tell you right now is backed up by research and studies. And um, a lot of this is points that I talked with uh, Dr. Liu about. Um, if you wanna check, fact check me, my sources will be in the description here. I don't take a personal fact. I love it when you guys fact check me because it helps me keep the information on my channel as accurate as possible. So right now, current research is showing that 58.2% of Dobermans will develop DCM. Now, the average age of onset for DCM is somewhere around six years of age-ish. And once the dog has DCM, usually they're dead in six months. Best case scenario, they live one to two years with everything going really well in top-notch management. So just take a second and wrap your head around that. Over half, 58.2% of Dobermans get this disease. Six years old is the average age of roughly um, for them to develop this disease and most of them are dead in six months. Sometimes they can live one to two years. That paints a horrible picture that I don't wanna think about. As if that wasn't concerning enough, guys, a 2018 study, fairly recent, uh, done in Scotland on data collected from the Doberman welfare community showed that the Doberman lifespan is probably not 10 to 13 years of age like we originally thought, but is likely more along the lines of seven years of age for males and eight years of age for females. That research is down below too. It's, it was hard for me to believe as well until I saw it for myself. So the scariest thing probably guys is DCM. We don't know exactly what causes it. We know it's hereditary and it's passed down, but we, we don't know the exact gene that causes this. And most dogs are not diagnosed with this until they're after breeding age, which means they've probably already had one or maybe even multiple litters of puppies and pass this issue down, causing more of these problems in future generations. Guys, you wanna know why 58% of dogs right now uh, will develop this at some point in their life? This is why. This isn't meant to scare you guys. In fact, this is meant to motivate you because there is a lot that we can do about this. 
DCM right now is so scary because we don't know exactly what causes it. We know it's hereditary and it's passed down through the generations, but we don't know the exact gene that causes it. There are two tests, like a lot of viewers on my channel know, the DCM1 test and the DCM2 tests. And those tests are far from perfect. They give you a real murky look on maybe what your chances are of developing DCM in the future. Uh, but um, if we can actually identify the exact gene that is the root cause of DCM, if we can identify that, then we can test for it. And if we can test for it, we can adjust breeding routines and reduce or maybe even completely eliminate this from the gene pool. So what can we do as a really large group of Doberman lovers on this channel, guys? Uh, look, first of all, look down below. Look at the subscriber count of this channel. We are a really large group, and honestly, we're really powerful. If we pull together and we all get on the same page and we, and we focus in on helping the future of this breed, I'm telling you, we can make a huge difference. You wanna know what we can do? You ready for it? It's really simple and it's free. All you gotta do is give Doberman Diversity Project consent to acquire your dog's DNA records. If you've already tested with Embark, the DNA testing kit I recommend on this channel, um, then all you gotta do is go to Doberman Diversity Project's website, fill out a super simple 30 second form, hit submit, and it'll allow their researchers to go and pull your dog's DNA profile and they can use that for research and you've just done an amazing thing for the Doberman breed. So really any and every Doberman owner who's willing to allow Doberman Diversity Project to pull their dog's genetic profile from Embark is doing a great service to Doberman breed, but there are two specific types of dogs that they're looking for that is just like research gold for them. They really want dogs that fit these criteria. And the first one is any dogs that are 10 years of age or older and are healthy, if those dogs get tested with Embark and you send in the results, that is just amazing to them. And the other group is any dogs who have been diagnosed with DCM at any age. Those two groups, I'm gonna put it on your screen because those two groups are just absolute research gold for them. They need the data profiles from those two types of dogs to really squash this DCM thing. Guys, I, I talked with Dr. Lou so much and they are relying, I can tell you that they are relying on data from those two groups of less than 50 dogs less than 50 dogs they have the, the genetic profiles for that meet those criteria. If you have a dog that meets that criteria, I don't say this very often, guys, but I'm gonna say it right now, one dog can make a difference here. Your dog who fits that criteria can make a difference if you send in that uh, genetic profile because that pool that they're working with is so small that your dog makes a big difference. So if you saw that video I did about Doberman DNA testing, you guys know that I did DNA test my puppy Arlo with that Embark kit. And uh, it was super simple at home, little cheek swab, took 30 seconds. Um, it should be popping up in the corner of your screen right now if you haven't seen it. And I'll also link to it down below. Um, but I got them tested, I got the results. So now I'm gonna go donate those results to the Doberman Diversity Project. And let me show you how to do that right now. So in order to donate your results to the Doberman Diversity Project, you first just need to log into your Embark account. You can either just go to embarkvet.com or you can find the login uh, link in the description below. Uh, once you get there and you log in, you'll find this screen here and your dog will be listed right here. Click on your dog's name right here. And when their profile page pops up, just scroll down under print or download results, click on raw data. And you're gonna wanna download two files. You wanna download the zip file and the CSV file. So you need to click both these buttons. So now that both those files have been downloaded to my computer, let's head over to the Doberman Diversity Project's website and upload those files for use in their research. Just click on the link in the description below this video uh, that says to submit your results to the Doberman Diversity Project, and it'll take you right to this page here. And you'll see the sharing agreement, and then below that, you will see where you enter all your information for your dog in order to submit the dog to research. And right here is where you upload your two files. You upload your zip file here and your CSV file here. So just hit choose file and then click on upload CSV. And in the comments here, if you just add one or two lines about the health of your dog, uh, such as if they'd have been diagnosed with DCM or not, or if they're healthy, et cetera. And if you guys just do me a favor and type something in there like Doberman Planet, it'll show the Doberman Diversity Project that this group of people uh, really does care about the future of the breed. And just so you're aware, when you click submit, you are agreeing to that sharing agreement uh, that is on the page there as well. So click submit, and that's it, you're done. Really easy guys, totally free, 
And if you own any Doberman who's been tested with the Embark kit, please do what I just did and donate your results uh, to the Doberman Diversity Project. And specifically, um, if you have a Doberman who's 10 years of age or older, or has been diagnosed by a vet as having DCM, I'm talking directly to you. If you own one of these two dogs, I'm talking to you right now. Please, please get your dog tested with a Embark DNA test kit and submit those results to Doberman Diversity Project. Your single dog, yes, your one dog can make a big difference in this research. Uh, all of us Doberman owners would appreciate it um, if you did that. It makes a huge difference. I will put all the links down below to help you out with this. There'll be a link to my Doberman DNA testing video which shows you exactly how to do this at home. It's super simple. You just swab the cheek. And actually you can learn a lot of really cool things about your dog. Other genetic conditions are prone to. Um, you can look at their breed makeup if you suspect they might not be 100% Doberman. Uh, you can see uh, relatives that might have been tested by Embark, the color genetics, what kind of puppies they can produce. Uh, you can see a whole lot of cool stuff about your dog. So you do find out some really interesting stuff about your dog with those test kits. Um, that will be in the description below. Um, but I'll also link to the Doberman Diversity Project's consent form, which is what I filled out in this video and will give them access to your results with Embark um, to help with the research. And I will also uh, link to their donation page because they do run a, a lot off of donations. Like I said, they are a nonprofit. And so you guys know, I'm not affiliated with Doberman Diversity Project. Um, and uh, it's just a really good cause that I think needs to be mentioned here. And I'm sorry if I got a little bit worked up during this video, but honestly, I just care so much about this breed. And you guys know me, you know I'm a Doberman nut, and I just really wanna see um, future generations enjoy this dog every bit as much as I've enjoyed it, because honestly, let's be frank with each other, the Doberman breed is the best breed, bar none, in my opinion anyway. Um, so I want to see them around for many generations to come. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell icon that pops up next to it. And I will definitely be a subscriber. That way I can make sure to keep you updated on the latest happenings and the status of the Doberman breed. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Ooh.